Previously, GoEye Level had a chat widget that connects with、uh, the ability to communicate via text message, but now they have the ability to utilize live chat. All right, Hawk Kim here, and another feature of GoEye Level that I want to talk about today is live chat. Previously, GoEye Level had a chat widget that connects with Uh, the ability to communicate via text message, but now they have the ability to utilize live chat. So there are three things that I want to talk about in this video. Number one is how to create and how to configure the live chat, and then number two is how to install that widget or that chat live chat on your website, and number three is we're going to talk briefly about. How to utilize live chat with conversational AI with Go High Level? All right, we're gonna go over that right now. All right, so we are in one of my sub accounts, which is my agency, and、um, we're gonna go and、uh, create and、uh, set up the、uh, chat widget, live chat. Okay, so we're going to go to sites, and then on the top you're gonna see chat widget, and this is where、um, you configure the Um, what people will see when they click on this bubble. Now you can enable this chat bubble, which people will see when they、um, when they land on your website. Okay, and then you can also configure and set up the text that's there, and then also change the、uh, avatar or the image that people will see. And then you can also for returning customers or people that are returning, you can also create a custom greeting here as well. Now, here, right below that, there is the ability. Now you can set it for SMS, email, chat. This was what they had before, and now with the new live chat capability, you can turn this on, and now you will have the ability for live chat, right? And so,、uh, in this instance, right here,、um, they will put their information. Where here in the live chat, they will automatically just.、Um, Put in their question, and somebody will, you know,、uh, hopefully a a、uh, support somebody that's on your uh, on your uh, staff will be responsive, okay, or responding to the chat. Now here in the widget window, as you can see, the top portion is if you have set it up for、um, the SMS and email chat, and if you can see here,、um, these are what. The questions, the,、um, the options available for that, and then you can also have、uh, the availability to add email feel or not. Now,、um, if you turn on the live chat and you go down to the bottom here, you have these live chat、uh, different options available. Now.、Um, This is a message that will immediately.、Um, this live chat message is what will come off as soon as、uh, a question is、uh, put in the live chat, and then this fallback inactivity is if somebody assigned to you doesn't respond within a certain time, it will、um, automatically fall back to this message with if set for two minutes or five minutes, ten minutes or fifteen minutes.、Um, I think in this case we want,、um, you know, five minutes seems a little bit long for somebody to wait, so I would say two minutes, and then if nobody responds, then this message will go out, and you can change this message accordingly. Now, this is if a contact, which is your customer that is landing on your website,、um, you know,、uh, what will happen due to inactivity? So let's just say they walk away or、um, they are not paying attention. Then、um, this is probably good for five minutes.、Um, I don't think two minutes would be too short in this case. And then an automatic message will go out if there is inactivity、um, that this chat is closed due to user inactivity. Okay. And then here is where、um, the top portion, as you can see here, is、um, the acknowledgement if you're using SMS.、Uh, and then here is. For live chat、um, acknowledgement, your chat has ended. Here is、uh, rate your experience.、Um, give a thumbs up, thumbs down, and then、um, any note that you want to put here. And then、um, chat ended message. If you want to start a new chat, 
then you just start uh, you have this ability to click and it will start up a new chat so now let's look at the various options available for installing this uh, capability on your website now if you have a, uh, a go high level funnel or website it's just a matter of going to a specific funnel let's go into one of my funnels here and let's go to a ghl 25 day challenge here that i have running and if you go to settings right here and at the very bottom i have it enabled but you know this will disable it and this will enable it and then it's just a matter of clicking save and then let's just go here and if you click on the preview as you can see here this widget is available right there as you can see right there now if i go and turn it off let's just say here and i um, let's see i have it oops save and then i go to preview it let's close out this window as you can see the widget is no longer there okay i'll close this out and we're gonna uh, let's just turn it on for now because i do want to show you okay now you also have the ability to install the um, this chat widget uh, for various websites uh, you know any other websites that are available um, a range of different now, if you're still utilizing a different platform for your website, you also have the ability to install it as a widget. All you got to do is get up this, get this code right here, and you're going to copy this code and install it on your website. Now, for those that are utilizing WordPress, WordPress, you can utilize a plugin called Lee Connector, and that will enable you to utilize, um, uh, and uh, the, the live chat using this plugin. Okay. Lastly, I want to show you the power of utilizing live chat with conversational AI. Now, I'm not going to go in depth into um, how to configure and set up the conversational AI, but I will, do want to show you how to turn it on. Go into your agency setup and you go to companies and as you scroll down, you have this conversational AI uh, and you have to enable it. And then you also have to go into the sub account. If you have SAS configured on, you have to make sure that you enable it. Right. Uh, if you don't have SAS configurator on, it should automatically uh, be turned on for that account. Now, um, for my account for um, this K Madison, I don't have SAS configurator on because it is my account, and so um, there's no need for me to uh, turn it on on the sub account level. Um, on the and then if you go to conversational AI there are three options available i'm just going to turn it off for now because i'm not i have not trained it there are um, as i was saying three ways um three modes you turn it off so that um you have the live chat which you can right here support channel you have it uh turned off so that whoever is supporting the live chat can respond to that live chat accordingly suggestive is uh, when you go to the conversation tab this when you turn on suggestive it will give you various suggestions based on how you train the um, the AI okay conversational AI autopilot will send it automatically based on how you train and set up your conversational AI so this is um, a another powerful feature that you can combine with live chat to make your um your ability for your website to grab uh to get you know to grab those leads immediately so that they don't go to another customer okay or another um another competitor i meant all right mm -hmm.